I was born in Ecuador, a place that calls Guayaquil, but the most of my time I live on La Troncal, and I was living with my grandma. She works a lot, and I just, the things that I do in Ecuador, just to go to school. Yeah, I help my grandma at home. She works a lot. And in Ecuador, you have to work the whole day just for $10. My mom went to Spain when I was two years old for because we don't have enough money. And she lived, I was very sad. And yeah, she lived like for two years, I think. And she got back when I was four. And she stayed with me until I was seven years old. When I was seven years old, she told me she's gonna leave again. I was mad at her <laughs> because she's gonna leave me again and I don't like that. And my mom just came here to have enough money for us. I was having a cold. My grandma told me that it's my mom. And I grabbed the phone and she just was talking to me, saying that she had papers where I can have a visa and come to be with her. I was very excited. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go to America. But I was sad too because I'm gonna leave my grandma alone. When I was in the airplane, I was thinking like about how do my mom gonna look right now? How my brother's gonna be? I was real already on Minneapolis. I called her with the phone with, and she told me, yeah, I'm gonna be there in a few minutes. I, I'm on downstairs or something like that. And when she called, I didn't know her and she didn't know me. Like, I look very different on pictures than what she told me. She told to the, a girl that was in there to call me in the microphone. And yeah, I was knowing that's my mom. <laughs> I just ran and hugged her and I was crying because I was so excited. And they showed me my room. My room was so beautiful and I was so happy. And then the night I couldn't sleep. I was really crying a lot. Like I feel we're in another, a new home with like people that I didn't live for a long time. I was missing my grandma. And yeah, I was crying for a whole night. I didn't sleep that night. What, my first day of school was very bad. People just talk, talk to me and <laughs> the things that they say I didn't understand. I don't know English. Everything they say to me was so funny. I always say yes, yes, because I didn't understand. Yeah, I, they was always laughing about me. I'm a Boston student. <laughs> and yeah, I have a lot of friends. A lot of, a bunch of group of friends, yeah. Of different kinds of countries. I found a job. So I'm um, um, cashier. I'm on a, gas, on a gas station. And I'm getting that. I'm gonna start working. And I have money now. I feel really happy to buy my own things to help my mom to pay the rent and things like that. I want to have a good grades, like try, always trying to be better. If I will learn like perfect English, I will, I want to learn another language too, like French or another one. And to go to college, I, the career that I want is something about police or things like that. I already have the resident. So I gotta go on November 26 to Ecuador until January 6th. And I'm so happy because I'm gonna see my grandmother again.